Shout out to all the VIP members watching this full interview on day one. If you're not a VIP and you waited a full year to watch, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a member for just $2.99 a month. And if you haven't subscribed, you already know what to do. Enjoy the interview. <laughs> Charlie Rock, you tapped in with P Films. What's the word, man? Yo, what's up? What's up? Shout out to P Films, man. <laughs> it's my first interview. You big time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Listen, man, I want to start this off by saying, you know, thank you for giving me the opportunity to help tell your story, all right? All uh, right. Word. So, um, first, I want to start it off by how have you been, man? It, it's been a while since people have heard your voice. So, let the people know how you've been. No, I'm good. I'm good. Like, you know, we take this shit out of the town, this whole situation. Nobody expected this shit, so it just happened. We had to deal with it. We still done with it. But it's looking good. Corona slow. Everything down as far as courts and all that. So everybody should have been moving slow. It's just getting back to normal now. So Hi. just waiting on my moment. Got you, got you. Listen, it's, it's good to hear you say you, you you feeling good and everything's looking good, you know. So, yeah, that ain't changed. Yeah, I know it changed. You know we about to pop up. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, well, you know, I want to say, you know, when I told people I was doing this interview, you know, everybody was glad and all that. Everybody would ex was excited. And I have questions and the fans have questions too. The first right. que the first question I want to start off with is, um, you grew up in uh, Patterson Projects in the Bronx in the 90s and the early 2000s, right? Right. Got right. you. From, from what you were seeing in your household to what you were seeing outside in the streets, describe to the people what that was like for you personally. It's hard. It's hard, like... Cause I feel like everybody speak on their side, and you know you think you done seen it all. Every side is the realest side, and my side was it was different. Cause it was like back in the days during that time frame, we just said it was like skate key. Everything was skate key, so people from everywhere in the city used to go to skate key. I literally live around the corner from it, so mm -hmm. all that traffic, even people getting on the bus to go to the key, like you had to stop right on my block. So it's like. We grew up different than I feel like every other hood in the Bronx because everybody had to come through our side. Mm. You know what I mean, like every bridge to George Washington, Harlem, Queens, any bridge you got in the city, it come through the Bronx. Gotcha. My side, of the Bronx. You know I mean? mm. gotcha. That shit just made it different. It made it super obvious. You know the vibes. Whoa, yeah. just growing up at them towns. Yeah, yeah, now I feel you. So, you know, how old were you when you began to, like, kind of gravitate towards the street life? And, and, and was there was there anything that happened to you that made you take that approach? Moving. Like, I, I had moved. Like, both my grandmoms lived in Patterson. I don't got no friends over here. I'm in a new school. It's just, you start not acting out, but it's just... And you basically trying to get in where you fit in. So it's like I had to go through rap and walls and growing up over there and then coming back to the hood, then go back over there. And it was like, that was like the first time that like I've had to show my teeth. You feel me? Like, yeah. oh. Got you. You know, when I, when I interview, when I interview a lot of guys, you know, a lot of them, you know, they look back at their life and, they always say this. They always be like, you know, wow, I was doing a lot of crazy shit at, at such a young age, you know. Uh -huh. And at that time, they thought it was normal. But then when, as they got older and they matured, they realized like, damn, this shit is not normal for me to be going through this at, at such a young uh -huh. age. So at your young age, what were you like? What were you going through? Like, what were you doing? What was the thing Charlie Rock was experiencing? I think, like, the, the, the first, like, when I be looking back at, like, my childhood and shit, it's like, I, I look back and it always bugged me out, like, work. Like, like drugs was always in my life. Like, my father, everybody went to feds for drugs. So, my mom's drugs. Like, everything was drugs. At the youngest of age, I remember going to school, finding work in my pockets, in my pants pockets. Like, little kids, like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Really... Trading that shit with fiends for candy. Like, yo, go in the store, give me this, this, this. Nah, like, nah, I know how much this costs. I got $5. Like, you got, give me $5 or you ain't getting it. You feel me? Like, 
that was like the first experience that I really looked back and like, wow. That's wow. not what my son doing that. <laughs> nah, I feel you. I feel you. How how old were you at that time? So I was like in third grade. Oh, God. I was like in third grade. I was already walking to school with my self and so like finding work in your pocket, whatever. You don't know how it got there, but it's there. Yeah. You ain't using it. So yeah. Me, oh, but Damn, that's like that's like that's like eight, nine years old, ten years old, something like that. And first time I ever got locked up, I was eleven, so Damn. I should tell you to make a been in the streets so. Yeah. What what did you get locked up for at eleven? Oh, at, at eleven, I think it was the pens. It had, a, had we jumped to my school, his father was a cop, some shit. Oh. We even had like that. He said got with my man and not for them, but they charged us like we jumped them. Okay. And then, no, when, they, when you young back in the day, they used to put you on the pen shit. Like, you don't go to school and all that. You go to group home for a year and shit. I was on that. And that's when, like, I officially was out the crib. Like, I had, I could, I had to leave, go back, and come back. Got you. Got you. Okay, okay. You know, um, I know you was there when YG started, you know, from the beginning. So talk about how and why it started. Alright. This is like 2002, 2003. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's so crazy because, like, see how it turned out to? I was never that. When it turned into whatever it turned into, I was already gone. Like, that. we probably get into that fall to 96. Yeah. Like, I was in juvenile. When I used to come home on home passes, like, we used to network, like, you know, meet people in jail or meet people with the key or whatever. And then we build relationships with certain people from certain blocks. So we already knew people. Like, we, everybody knew who the headers was on that side, headers was over there. So if that was the case, like, it started basically from a whole nother situation. Like, it was some shit back in the day called Bronx Gunslang, DGS. Now yeah. I'm from Portland. Now, DGS was like the first thing that was established, but it wasn't blood. So it was like, I right, even though we was on some fake blood in our hood, that shit wasn't like, recipe she me while DI is by, but that shit wasn't real right. Like, it wasn't never a sanction. Like, we was running around doing all this little day room shit, and that shit was never real. You feel me? We learned that later. When we went to jail, and we was around the real, you understand? Like, in the beginning, it was just big on that. Like, I right, being blood is just the grainy, uh, 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 we already seen that part. Bones, gun slingers. They on time, but we can't be that because that's another block. It's like, we know Jack the gang that started on another block. It's like, nah, I can't be that. But I fuck with y'all, we fuck with y'all, you know what I'm saying? So love. But we wouldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't jack it. We couldn't, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't jack it. Damn, they about to call the fucking y'all, man. Fuck, yo. Damn. All right, hold on. Let's finish this. Look, what? we couldn't jack it. I, I wasn't with that. I wasn't with that. Yeah. So, I would come home on home passes. So I, and it'd just be different situations. I'd be on court when this time. I'm trying to hop over here. Then we go over here. Trying to hop over here. But it's not intentionally. It's just how shit keeps happening. So it was like, well, y'all little niggas, hey, where y'all niggas go? Man, y'all young gunners. Yeah. It was cute. It was just, Somebody said it, all right, cool. We ain't never paid no mind. But now it comes to the point where it's like, I right, Harlem had Ellen W. We went to Harlem. These niggas screaming they shit, ah, ah. It's like, hold on. We from Brooks. These niggas know us. All right, we gonna come up with our own shit. That's how it started. But it still wasn't sanctioned. And then we were like, you know what I'm saying? We was just still running around. It really, it really went viral when niggas went to jail. Like, niggas went to jail, that's when shit started picking up. Mm. Cause we wasn't, DYG, it was like, we was in, we was going against blood in a way. Yeah. You understand? Cause like, everybody go to jail turn blood. We in there, but we ain't jacking that. We can't because we was jacking some fake shit. <laughs> 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 they already told us that shit wasn't right, but they trying to say that ain't right, but you could come over here and have this. Nah, nigga, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, 
I feel wild. They end up finessing us, though. They end up getting us over there. But they like, nah, y'all keep, y'all sit, keep going, what y'all doing, just, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how I started. Basically, we was like a scapegoat for niggas that ain't going to be that. Or well, niggas that this ain't still like the old press. Like, they just trying to be old press. Back in the day, they ain't think blood, old press, old press, old press. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We go against that. Oh. I interviewed Paparazzi Poe recently, and he said... He's a fraud. Hold on, let me... Really, all these are fraud. Listen to me. Hold on, we gonna... Go, 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 now, we gonna get there. We gonna get there. get this out the way. <laughs> okay. No, get this out the way. You can verify it yourself. His father is a crackhead from Jefferson Projects, man. <laughs> oh. I was on the road with this kid, man. He wore my clothes. I know him. <laughs> I know I love his balls, man. Like... I don't know where he came from with that, you know? Okay, like, okay. Like, one day, he woke up and said, yo, I'm young Paul. Like, then when we went to jail, we started hearing stories about Al Paul. It's like, yo, bro, what are you doing, bro? Yeah. You're from death. Like, you understand? Like, yeah. Well, we're, we're, okay, okay. Dude, let they, me... They, they calling it, they calling it right now. I got afternoon rep, so I'm gonna call tomorrow, probably like 2.30, 1.00. Two- one, one thirty, two thirty. You seen there? It was like starting over. Like I own shit. You know what I'm saying after yeah. a while, everybody catching certain kind of cases. They start calling us young gunners. This being where we was from. But it's like it was never supposed to be a gang. Like I want to be clear. Like it's never ever supposed to be that. Okay. That's why we always threw it up with the last little handshake we had. Or we ain't had no codes. You understand? So that separated us from that. If anybody asked what we was about, it was three things. I was getting money, staying fly, and fucking other niggas' bitches. Everything else, like, I just came with certain shit being outside. You know what I mean? Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. We, for being in jail, we kind of knew certain people from other sides. So we already had ties to other side, like web. Recipes, Blink, Blau, Young Person, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? That's where Poe came from. That was Red Man, he was from where? Mm. You know what I'm saying? But like, it started off like every hood that was around us, it was only two people from every hood. And it was just like, literally 15, 17 niggas, like, that's what I was a part of. Yeah. Then we all went to jail. Yeah. That's what it's Got you. Got you. You know, um, when I was saying, uh, and, and, and Poe said that too, he, I think he said you want, you said something along the lines of you wanted it to kind of just be y'all. You didn't want to add nobody or was that true? Or I, I basically, like I said, it was like two people from every side. And Got it's you. so crazy because they, like, everybody's top five and shit like that. Like, I wasn't a part of that. You understand? I wasn't, I, was, I told you I was in a juvenile, so we would be come, I'd get home passes, we come home, and it's still on the record, like, my man died, like, on the home pass, you feel me? Up the block, shit, court, and shit. It wasn't none of the niggas that we grew up to fuck with, but it happened over there, so definitely not gonna turn no gang that started over there, you feel me? Like, yeah. But we fuck with people from over there, so it's like, like the first five people that I would say, like that was YG. It was it was two fly ten. Rest in peace, Nifi, Perez, June Tao, and Trav. Like nobody ever know these people, but you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> whoa! But then it'd be me, Freaky Brown, Young Jeff. Johnny Five, but it was like you want to know nobody. Like only names start sticking out when we went to jail. Mm. For me, that's when everybody started knowing our ties with Wag, Young Fresh. Some we would go to Wagner, Recipes Twist. Yeah. For me, then she- up the block it was Gun and Banco. Mm-hmm. Whoa, like it wasn't that many people. If if something was going on, it was one of those names. Then when we went to jail, it was like, all right, these niggas is from the Bronx, but we wasn't really jacking the Bronx. We was just on some shit where we fuck with everybody that's on time, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. She, uh, see, the, the, the way we hear it is that the top five was you, uh, Mighty, Drew Hef, Poe, and yeah. Two Fly. See, that's, that's, that's Brown, that's Perez, go. Mm, okay. That's, that's Brown, that's Perez. Who else you said? You said Poe? Poe, Drew Hef, Mighty, Two Fly, and you. I don't know. They say young niece, man. Young niece was Perez, like right here, man. If it was me and Tay, then it had to be half of Perez. Like, something like, mm. half this, but I'm tripping. It had to be niece of Perez, you feel me? Yeah. Got you. Well, but it was two people from A side. So if Brisson F was before him, we have no say, like, I, I don't want to get it wrong. Like, I got some animosity towards them. Like, I have friends for Pope. It just, you, like, I'm, I'm living this life. I can't condone that nigga lying about some shit like that. You understand? Like, you, I know you, brother. Like, so it, shit like that. That's what fucked it up. Like, mm. it'd be fake shit. Basically, I, somebody named Freeman Oz, he had did that in 05. Pose just living with that nigga. Mm. They ain't gonna put his P-dub up. Nigga get locked up for some other shit. Nigga, you knew that in 05, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. It should be crazy. You, you talking about, uh, the, I think he just put somebody's paperwork out like a couple of days ago or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, oh. and I heard about it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, all right, why you ain't do that when you came home? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just now, living with that nigga, like, last time I heard about him, they like, yo, posing already, living with Oz, and it's like, that nigga locked up for some other shit. And then you gonna put the T-Dub, what's going on, brother? Come on, man, we too old for that type of shit. Yeah, got you. Got you. You know, um, getting, getting off that, you know, people was asking, is that, like, was that a why or a bunny that y'all was, like, kind of throwing Poor up? lying ass. Paul Lionaz came up with some Playboy shit. <laughs> Cause the old bitch had said that. Like, y'all always run around throwing up Playboy bunnies. What's that? And then there was just some shit. Paul was like, oh yeah, let's do this. And it's like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. that's all right. We, we get it now. No, I'm like, no saying. Everybody think gravy shit when you speak with now. No, but we gonna fix that in a minute. Okay. Got you, got you. <laughs> um, and, and he also said that the reason everybody came together was because of one common enemy, Bogus Brim. That's a lie. She posted that because he was that was red man. That's how he got his name. Every time I post fuck with the bitches. Yo, know, Paul always find a way to finesse the bitch. He finesse one of the bold little bitches or whatever. And bogus be chasing them. That's they call him Red Man. But he's from where? Until he knew. Bo, we had beef for both too. Don't get it twisted. We had beef. My had beef for both. But long story short, somebody did bad in the situation. I can't be beef with no nigga after a nigga did bad. You know what I'm saying? We done went to jail. Met certain things. Things happened. We got past that. I was good, Bo, before he died. You feel me? But... He ain't stuck because of him. Him and Perez are scared of that nigga. What time Bo pulled Perez over? <laughs> like the police, like nigga pull this shit over. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, where are my sons? I was like, nigga out the car, hands on the car, you know, like he's the police, bro. Like, bro. Now he did say that though. He's, first time. He, he did ever, say that. First time I ever met Perez. Bro, that's the first time I ever met Perez. That incident right there happened right on rap. Uh, and, w and when you saying Perez, you talking Juta, right? Yeah. Got you, got you. Just for the people that that don't know, you know, um, they they had a lot of questions. You know, they asked why why was the color green? Um, um, yeah, like the money, mm. the money. It was really the money flag, but we couldn't take that. It belonged somewhere, but we had to go with green. Oh. Yeah, got you. You know, when I read up on y'all, I can't lie. Like I, I did, I did a lot of research. Y'all all seem to be so tough, and and like you said before, grimy always comes with that the the, the YG, the Nano, and all that. What made y'all the environment? Mm. The environment. The words grimy, man. We just adapt to the situation. Yeah. 
Got you. And and, and what made y'all like kind of take 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 under, like basically allow Drew to the lead? What? Why was he given that that right? It's a lot. It's a lot. I saw my old love. Gotcha. Or, or have fun for that nigga. He was older than us. Mm. So we was real local skate niggas. You know what I'm saying? We was beef with every black around us, though. But we started fucking with him. Homeboys, Pops, that's the, that's big bro, man. Homeboy, I love homeboy. Like, he had this stretch for, he killed somebody, he went to jail, he came home, and his mom would just take care of his son. So everything we got into, his son got into, so he got into. For me, he was always studying at the end of the day. Like, gotcha. he was more man. You understand? It's like now, like, Perez had three whips when I was 15. Uh, wow. So, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was different. We was moving. Got you. Got you. So now, now I, I know at some point tension arises and, and you you and the guys kind of create like your own thing and and you created 1090 YG, right? Right. Got right. you. See what I'm saying? Again, it's like, I, I had to come up with my own shit. Like, I had to come I can't deal with these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't deal with these niggas, but these niggas is still dealing with this nigga. Like, this nigga going to see niggas in jail, like, literally, like, you understand? And it's like, yo, I ain't do it. Nobody went to trial, so nobody took the stand. But we got the teeth out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mama got it, nigga. We was holding it down. They got whacked, right? Because everybody still dealing with them. And when I first came home, this is how I'm gonna say how I start back. I'm gonna let you know how I started. Places started over for me. Like, I came home, I ran into some money, I got a lawsuit. I was like, Nisi, that's bro. Like, bro, we spent 20K first day. Like, that's bro. That's me. So it's like, yo, rock, like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna do nothing at all, but I just can't be in no cars with them. I'm not standing on no corners with them. None of that, bro. They still dealing with them. I don't care, bro. Like, boom. Now I'm in the low, like, young Jeff area. Now this TA old dog, young boy, like, these are the babies, but it's beautiful in the low. Like, bro, I had a baby over there. Okay. But, he got kids over there too. His baby moms are over there too. So it's like, kids is there. He come, it's like, I ain't gonna tell him that he can't be around the kids, but it got to a point where it got there, like, no, bro, stop coming over there. You understand? Like, in and out, like, you know what I'm saying? Got there to a point where the nigga was in the barbershop one time, it was a scene, they ain't never came back. But if niggas would go somewhere, like, you can't move like that, anyway, it's time to be around, bro. And it's like, yo. Y'all niggas keep doing this. Long story short, something happened. I almost got the clip. Well, this is a car situation. I was in the car, almost got clipped in the car. And then I, I was in the back of a hospital. So after the situation, I'm just walking through the hospital, bro, like trying to get back wherever I was going. You know what I'm saying? Back to reality, so it just yeah. happened. I ain't expect to happen. I was like, all right. Can, can I say, can I? Emotional moment. Yeah. I walked out. His mom's work in the hospital. The person that told me. So when I, yeah, correct. So when I walked out, you know what I'm saying? I love his mom. She's there for my son. Like, like, she worked there. So I walk out the hospital. He did. Wait, hold up. Are you saying Perez told? Right. That's what I'm saying. This is how the, our relationship, like, rekindled. You know what I'm saying? Like, after everybody knew what we knew in 05. Yeah. This is how, this how that happened. Like, his mom's working in the hospital. I almost got clipped in the back of the hospital. Come out the hospital. I see the nigga. And it's like, he already knew. Because word, I, I, niggas heard his son. It's like, yo, that was, yo, the nigga hugged me. Whoa. Well, Wait. we went back to Rax. He drove me to Rax. He was pausing the phone. He drove to Rax. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, Charlie, my bad, my bad. Just to... Are you saying... I, I want to get this clear. Are you saying 
Jutha told or somebody else told? We we know we know Perez did that. We know that. Oh man, that's news to me. Wow. No, this is all I'm trying to tell you. We knew that old file. Wow. We knew that old file. So it's like when I come home at 07, this is how this is rekindled. You feel me? It's to the point where I'm telling the nigga, I don't feel comfortable you around. I right, going to see your kids, go see your kids. But that's it. Like, seen them in the barbershop, in a little fake situation. Not happening, but it's like, I don't want you over it. If I'm over it, can't be over it. That was that. Okay, okay. So that's when and you... the situation happened, I almost, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm walking to the hospital. Uh, I bumped right into him. Yeah. And then it's like, everybody knows what's going on. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Mama in the picture. <laughs> oh, like... Wow. It was like, fuck it. I ain't gonna do nothing with this nigga, but... I ain't gonna do nothing to this nigga, you feel me? Like, yeah, gotcha. It's like, you know when, when somebody do bad, those be the most dangerous niggas. Because they got the ultimate point to prove. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's like, anytime, anything, call, I'm coming right now. Where you at? You like, you understand? Like, whoa. Got you, got you. So, damn, I I'm shocked. I ain't even know that. I, I think, I'm shocked, bro. But, um, okay, so that happens, and then that's why you do 1090, right? Um, no, like, I, all that, all that played the part in it. All that with my older niggas that caused the situation broke my heart. What, like can, can, I, that really should, can I ask I you a question? Hurt. Can I ask you a question? Um, and, and you ain't gotta, like, um, say who or whatever, but are you saying people shot at you? You was in the car, and that shit broke your heart? I had a situation with, with an older person from outside of town. God. I grew up under, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, when I came home, I ain't come home to be in the streets. You know, I came home, I was, had some money coming. You know what I'm saying? I ain't think about buying some games or nothing, you all. Know? Yeah. Got you. Got you. But okay. Though know, life happens. Niggas go upstairs. Niggas start going back to what they know. Yeah. I say last long. Like I was only home for like nine months. Yeah. Bro, I was yeah. only home for like nine months. Damn. I said, said it, it, it was a different time. But what made that ha what made what made the nine months happen? It was like I come home after all everything we was going through, and then everything we been through. I don't gotta talk about that shit. Niggas talk about it better than me, but. After I come home from them, it's like 15, 17 niggas that I knew that, like, you know what I'm saying? I was, I knew, like, I, numbers was in my phone to, I'm coming home, I go to this side, and these niggas got, whatever, they tell them something with a G, it's alphabet gangs with a G out of the end, like, yeah. I'm like, word, you the big word, like, you the big word, and it's like, who did that? Correct. Oh, that's a dub. <laughs> that's a dub. What? God, crazy. But what really made it crazier, what made it crazier, right? And I had to go see him. Like, you ever speak to Tay? I don't know if you spoke to him. I'll tell, I'll tell, I'm, I'll holler, see if he'll holler at you, but. Yeah. Anyway, Tay, Tay crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love mama's son, man, but he crazy, man, but... <laughs> All right, Tay, Tay is too fly, so... Everybody said too fly is Tay. How for say Tay, too fly is a dub. They gotta go somewhere else because there's too many niggas jacking at. Mm. Yeah, you you basic you basically saying how was he he can't have that right to say that about him? The think in jail, and he told the predator Tay. Oh, oh wow, okay. You know what I'm saying? This nigga locked up. This is shit you got there, and then you gonna say, yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, wow. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I went to see him. 
Bro, me and Jay Moore, gangsta, you at the shit tape. Like, yo, bro, you okay? We having this weird shit. I should say, bro, I'm about to just go do my Grammy shit. Yeah. Bro, they always call us the Grammy side. They call us the Bronx. When you think of the Bronx, you a Harlem nigga, Brooklyn, you think of us. That's our side over there. Wherever you come to, you got to cross our side. Yeah. Boom. So that's when you did that's that. That's where 1090 comes from. Got you. Got you. So 1090 Yeah. It was still love, though. It was still love. That's when everybody else started coming around. Yeah. Got you. Why did you choose that that name, that 1090? Like, what? Well, I, I heard that it came from, like, GKB, which was, like, created within mm -hmm. the blood. They, they, they was basically that's, that's an old Grammy 1090 Grammy shit, right? Yeah That's how I was feeling mm, So it did come from G-Shine? G of course Got gotcha. I was never signed I, I love Polo and John Everybody that's over there and them But I never I was not just looked at it like Either way, all the niggas looked at me Like the Ola out the G's Anyway, like and when I wasn't real right, I was still with some fixed shit, like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, we ain't gonna play no disrespect, y'all. Yeah, yeah. So did they... Like, did they, um... Like, when, when you decided to take that name, like, the g Sean niggas, did, did they, like... Were they cool with it, or they was, like... Honestly, honestly, I don't think no Ola ever liked the G's. So, hell no. Mmm... I know any one of them I cross paths with, like my son passed on here right now. That's my baby, bro. Like, you understand? I got a relationship with nigga. I'm not nigga 10 years, bro. Yeah. Well, so you basically, um, so you basically saying they wasn't jacking you using that, or they were? We wasn't right. Like I told you, when we went to jail, we wasn't right. Gotcha. All. Well, so it's like we tough and we doing all the shit they hear about as far as the G's, but as far as that, we wasn't right. So they were trying to like serve people. That's why we ended up doing sound. We ended up going over there. We was jacking sound each homicide. That shit I got faded. It wasn't our fault though. Okay. That was some. They got faded because the older nigga. That's when I was like, I right, it's over for that. Gotcha. We ain't going to that no more. For me. Yeah. Now I know. yeah. Okay. Okay. Why was it? You know, everybody asks. Why was it ten percent loyal, ninety percent grimy? When I hear that, that's a lie. That's a lie. Oh, talk to me. That what? What, what that man? See, that's a lie. Like real shit. Like tonight to get the fuck up too, cause you got the toes and things like that running around. They jacked out the old. But tonight was really safe, me and safe, because it was me and Briss at first, but then Briss turned back. Okay. And it was like, that's a whole nother story, but Mac broke my heart. I could never be that. Yeah. So, like, I vowed that as a kid. Oh, but when he did that, it was just me and safe. Okay. Uh, me and Shay, Shay get locked up for a gun, Oakland, Mar Haven. He's going to see his baby moms, though. He not know he's going over there. He got to be sick. He, he get not. I'm telling him, he got to feel like that. You feel me? I'm home. I bring C. Flicky over there. C. Flicky is... That was a big... This is fucking be out here. That shit What happened? <laughs> Well, the mother, oh Lord, we give up. Oh Lord, he tripping. <laughs> like a loser for the, uh, hey, uh. <laughs> Alright, so, so, I, I told you I ran into some money, I got a settlement. Yeah. Flicky, skinny, lakey, super dark skin, he triple dark skin. Mm -hmm. He woke in my crib, bro. My grandmother don't say nothing to that man, you all. Because he, cause he dark skin. <laughs> no racist shit. It's just, I don't know what he did, but that's the black Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> and Blicky, Blicky get in the crib, got a nigga in the closet, whatever he need, got it. 
least for my little cousin, boom, long story short, Vicky gets 700. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vicky got 700, we was, it was no looking back. It was loyalty though, like, you know what I understand? I trust my niggas, I, I, I hold my niggas, like, I make sure my niggas got bitches, money, everything they need, like, that's not grimy. Yeah. Grimy is be with everybody else, cause these niggas not like us. Yeah. They don't got no no story. So you basically saying, I'm, it was a lie. They saying it's tempest. They saying ten percent loyal, ninety percent grimy. But you saying it's not grimy because you looked out for your mans. You gave them, mo you helped them get money, whatever the case they need. But I no, I showed them that, and I show my love for my big bros. You feel me? You gotta take care of your your, your little bros, like yeah, that's in the fact that's the best nigga I ever met. You feel me, like? Our niggas used to take care of everybody to their sneakers, to what they make a week. It's like a job with the shit ball. Yeah. And, and I try to do that with my niggas, even though I can't employ everybody. I just want everybody to feel me when I'm around, you feel me? Yeah, got you. So so, so, what does the, the 1090 represent? Like, what, what, it, it, so, so that... Because it's like, I bet. It's funny, because it's like, I got to be standing in front of you like, if we stand there and you try to give me a pound with the left and throw it by a G, it's the way 1090 do it. Like, they lock. Yeah. Because we throw the G's down. So if you buy a G and you throw up 1090, I mean, you throw up by a G with a nigga and a nigga 1090, he going to lock it. So if you lock with him, you pussy, bro. Like, niggas, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, I like a nigga throwing up your gang with you and then throwing it down. Got you. Get Got it? You. Yeah. He throwing it down with you, though. Yeah. Because he holding your hand, you feel me? So, mm. that's why niggas start saying it was like that. But I was only like that to a nigga that was awesome. I ain't know y'all. Yeah. You okay. Me? Like, if I don't know you, and it's like, I don't know you. Like, I don't even know what you was in jail for. Like, nothing. Like, I don't know you. You feel me? Like, yeah. I wasn't really dragging you. It was different when I came up. I had to go to your side. Yeah. They had to feel me on your side. They ain't feel you on my side. Yeah. You feel me? Like, and then you address me as if you me. You the big such and such, but I never heard of you. Yeah. But but what what <laughs> now what I'm saying though like where does that numbers come from the ten percent loyal ninety percent grammy like where does that that's, that's that's I guess that's what you say that's the that's the sound that's the icy okay so, like that's basic that's of course I always pay homage like I said they always I was the Ola out the bunch you feel me Whoa. got you okay Nikki Perez Nikki is from the head that's more on the six side Whoa, like. Okay, now, now for you at this point, are you actually beefing with YGs at that point, or you just kind of like, I ain't... It's, it's hard, because it be funny situations, and it's like, it's funny we could talk about it because nobody got hurt or no shit like that, but yeah. it be like, you know what I'm saying, I want to, I come home and Toast got a thousand little niggas running around, she's Blicky, that was the baby, then gutter, gutter, Gotta gutta man, that's my heart. But yeah, okay, shining, that's my baby, but but that's Harlem. You feel me? Once I went to Harlem the ghost was different. Well, Harlem was Harlem saved my life. But Blicky Blicky ended up getting knocked, so it become toast, cause Shay's in jail, he doing three years, so it's like everybody running around tagging the nose is fucking with toast with toasts, man. <laughs> Come on, I was bris that was bristle, man. I know Toast since we was kids. He just he, he went a whole nother path, man. Well, I'll leave it at like that. He went a whole nother path. Okay. Okay. But but um so so basically you saying like from it, you did have a little bit of issues with some of them, but not all. I right, look, imagine whatever we go get guys somewhere. Whatever, he run into somebody. Man, it's mad energy, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga pop, popping out loud pressure, but he's jacking the set, you know? Yeah. Listen, what's your name? Who you what? Hey, who you was? Okay, like, like, nah, I'm, that's a dub. Ain't no 
drug deal or not, you know, like, mm. and it's like, you, they look at you like you dead granny. But no, y'all, I don't know these kids. I don't know niggas, you understand? And if they say they got it from Perez or Matthews, like, come on, what's wrong with y'all? Okay. Okay. Got you. Got you. Now, now, you know, I'm, I, I can't, you right now, you're ape now, right? Huh? Are, are you ape now? Right. Okay. So, w- was that something you decided to do, or was it like they? It kind of felt like, cause I know. Yo, yo, dead ass. Yo, dead ass. Nigga never signed up for nothing that happened. Like I swear to God, I ain't never signed up for the G's. That's some shit that happened. I ain't never signed up for none of that shit. It just happened, bro. Okay. Like, now, I love it, but, uh, <laughs> well, it's like, got you. So, it so. is what it is, it's, it's how it turns out, because everybody look at it like you say, you know? Okay. Like the grain, you understand? But it was never, it was never, like right now, I see one of the nodes. Nigga, come in, nigga, you my baby, nigga, I got you, I teach you like you one of mine. Okay. That's it. You understand? Like, don't get it twisted, it's still the nose, it's, 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 oh, the nose, trick or treat, man, you smoke up, they outside, it's, it's always love, you feel me? I just be feeling like everything is itself now. Got you. See, I'm see. This, that's what's that, that's still mine. Those my babies, nigga, whatever they say, I'm saying, nigga. Yeah. See, that's, that's my question. My question is, do you even identify yourself as 10 9 0, you know what I mean? Because if, if, you ask, if you ask one of mine right now, they're going to say I'm the brand new eight. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on. Just like, I. Right. I was interviewing somebody. Um, he's he's. Don't go no further than that, brother. Got you, got you. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, um, basically, he was just saying, uh, what he was saying. He was saying basically, you can't be nano and something else. Nowadays, every block, every building is a gang, right? Hmm. Nah. Like people from different hoods, they they jack a gang that's from their hood. You feel me? It's just what it is. Now, when them people leave them blocks, they not on them blocks no more, but they can't say they not from there, you feel me? So you still go jack the gang, you feel me? Now, like my situation, everybody know I'm not no okay. I come to jail. I really want to talk about my case, but allegedly, I'm here for somebody that was supposed to be allegedly Hey, You feel me? So even though I was in the town and I was this, I'm being charged for this. I come to jail, I still don't jack it, you know what I'm saying? Not like, you know, disrespectful way, I'm just still on my time. I feel like I got to handle what I got to handle from the town. Before I try to do that, you feel me? And I waited two years. Oh, I waited two years. Every mm. spot, my classification put me in Lava's Cribs on the island. So I was around all of them. And I was that. And it's like, at the ride, like, you start feeling bad. Like, not feeling bad, but it's like, I right, shit going on. You gotta pick a side, you did. And if I'm there, I don't matter what you are, you feel me? So it's like, that shit just, it, it was inevitable. Whoa, it was inevitable. Yeah. But, like, like, like I said, as far as like somebody being both, like, it's too, it's, it's, it's a different time. It's a different time, you feel me? So like, everything started from something and turned to something else. You feel me? Like, you say, hey, it was something, it's, some, it's a part of something else too, you understand, like everything, you know what I'm saying, it's just how it be, now I feel like if somebody was to tell me that, though, like, yo, you gotta pick or something, you feel me, now you just coming for me, so that's fuck all that, you all, you ain't had to do that to do that, you all, like, yeah. 
I never had that problem. Like, you feel me? Like, I feel like they could feel the energy as far as what type of time I'm on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And mm-hmm. can't name a nigga I ever snuck. Like, one of my niggas that I did some creep shit to. Name a bitch I fucked out with my man, bitch. Name a, a, a situation where I got my man lined or anything like that. You could never say that on my name. So, yeah. So, right? Got you. Got you. Do the, are the nanos cool with it, or are they gonna have to jack what you jacking? No, I, no, it's not. It's not like what they gotta jack. Ain't no today a new day. Nobody can say <laughs> anybody gonna jack what you jacking, bro. They can be on their own time, bro. <laughs> like, but at the end of the day, it's certain family. Niggas got family ties to certain shit. I don't care what a nigga jacking. Like, you know what I'm saying? I family than a family. Like, I can't watch not have the tour. Okay. Gotcha. And if, if you fuck with me, then you not gonna want to take it there neither. You feel me? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm in the spot, now nah, I know there's somebody or anybody showing them any type of energy. Because they that is like you doing that purposely because, you know, I'm here. You feel me? So, let's just go, no, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we don't have those problems, you know? Like, whoa. Got you. Got you. At this point, not even to sound disrespectful, like, does is it if you're you done took a different path is is the nano know even what it was in the past hell yeah hell yeah gotta go crazy hey you say that you crazy okay oh, gotta got nah, no man <laughs> okay okay gotta go crazy like i said you know what i'm saying like bet bet <laughs> bet so Earlier, you know, we talking about how everything started. Does any part of you wish you was able to speak to the guys, like, like guys like um, um, Paul? Nifi. Okay. Nifi. Rest in peace. I wish I could speak to Neef. I was so fucking mad at him before I got knocked. Whoa, that's my brother. I love him. I love him. I love him. Yeah. Oh, Tato. Got I love you, Tato. Got you. I know you said you couldn't you couldn't respect um certain things that happened, but Paul was telling me he would want to speak to you. Would you be open to that? Oh, tell him, tell him I said this. Yo, Paul, we've been through a lot of shit together. If I grew up to say my father was out, Paul, how would you look at me, bro? Real shit, how would you look at me? If I grew up and I told you after everything we done seen together, I was out cold, son. How would you look at me? But but he said he the other guy, he grew up thinking that was his father, but then I honestly, honestly, I I ain't know this ain't the movie show, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know this. I know this. I one day we was all in, in a Chinese restaurant all right. This word to my son. We on we in, we in a Chinese restaurant. Say we gotta change our names because our name's hot. It's 40 bands on my head. Yeah. So my name will be Brass Knuckles. They say I'm there niggas with Brass Knuckles. All right, call me that. Take that to boom. The Brass nigga name will be Swiss because he look like Swiss Beats. Yeah. All right. Young Jeff there, we can't call him now. No, that's Jeff to the left. He gave him movie roll dice to the left. You know that. Alright, that's Jeff to the left. Yeah. So you look like Al Paul. Mmm. Take a start. I know somebody told me that before. Say, hold on, take your hat off. Nigga took his hat off. Say, nah, we gonna call you Young Paul. I swear to God, next time I saw this nigga, he went to my uncle. He just came home during 16 years. Let's be spitty. He gave me a tattoo on his neck, say, Young Poe, y'all. I said, Oh, bro. You huh. running with this? This is shit now? You done changed it like three times, bro. Yeah. Like, nah, this is it, bro. I'm like, I right, bet. Young Poe. Now, after we going through whatever we going through, I end up being on the run. Gangsta, nigga, that nigga, I'm living with him. I'm in the crib with Paul, like, all my clothes, everything was in Paul room. We lived together. I lived with him, like, bro, his mom opened the door, so I'm saying, I know you, bro. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Man, long story short, we ain't get to stay on his side for long. That ain't last too long. But we start going out there. It was only four buildings and the whole project. We didn't see cool. It's only four buildings, bro. Bring 17, 20 niggas to the projects. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We ain't get to stay over there for long. So now, basically, pull the run. I'm going to run. We in Harlem. Now I used to go to all of money L's, that's my brother. I go to all of money L's. Now he got better, you know that's you know that we in Harlem. Holy used to go to Harlem, he used to go to his grandmom's place. That's where his father lived. Got you. You understand what I'm saying? Like we go see the man, nutcrackers and all that. Man back of this shit, the pool and all that, like you know what I'm saying? So now we get locked up. And it's like one day they, they give us a assignment in school when we on the island. It's like write a story or some shit that happened about your life that you remember or some shit. And this nigga wrote the Sunday story. So we reading this shit. It's like, yo, Randy Hall, he talking the Sunny shit. That's when they cut Sunny single off Rich Porter shit, bro. Okay. Sam, these niggas, hold. You got all your fingers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Yo, bro, yo, bro, you wildin', bro. Nah, you got to be dead eyed. He's like, yo, his mom told him some shit. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm not checking that. You know, I'm going to blame that on her. Like, I know her, bro. Like, you're not going to do that, bro. Yeah. Bro. Gotcha. So we thinking it's going to be some shit. We just going through on the island. He's saying this shit. Now we come home. Took my niggas running around. Like, come on, bro. That nigga got a son of a... Everybody know who that man son, you know what I'm saying, all of them. And you jacking this shit, you from the bro, you was our nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, what you doing, nigga? Yeah. Uh, Damn, all right. Um, Got you. You know, talk about, uh, cause everybody seen the, sh- heard the shot caller song, we seen the video. What, 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 what caused the uh, fallout between you and French? I, last time we was talking, I was telling like the first time I met him. Yeah. It's always like it was always through like somebody else from me, my bro, or, or or like you know what I'm saying. Uh, like a lot of people it's hard to speak on, you know what I'm saying. But it's certain we had ties through the streets, like certain niggas knew each other. But now it's like I said yesterday, I ain't. I thought when they said Cocaine City, I thought that was some Rick Ross shit. Mm. And he like, nah, it's fine, he fuck with Max, he be doing the cocaine, say PVPs and say he comes to the, like, oh, all right. I'm like, yo, where he from? He's like, the dub. So I'm like, all right, that dub, say he's from the dub. All right, cool. Like, I never thought of it nothing. He ain't go out with us that night, so I ain't seen him that night. Now, I go to jail. This man shit start going crazy. Everybody name start going crazy. So I come home. He is on my side, but not really my side. He's in the head. But that's still kind of my side because it's like all this area, this whole small haven section of the Bronx, like, that belongs to the streets. Like, you feel me? We the streets on that side. Like, yeah. Oh, he over there. I ain't saying he got a highlight me to be good over there. Nah, I ain't saying that. Yeah. But I had, I, I had an issue with Flip. Well, stupid shit. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I told you I knew him. His family lived on my side. So, like, once upon a time, like, I told you he was East Homo. For that shit, got faded. Situation had happened. It was right after I just got the law. So, I had spent 20 days. Like, I bought all my niggas' pals, everything. Next morning, it's some niggas in front of my door. Not on no shit like that. Like, these my men. They just trying to clear the air, like, Yo, this nigga wanna talk to you. I'm like, ooh, like, flip the door. I'm like, who the fuck is that? Long story short, I get on the phone with Matt early in the morning. This nigga started talking about, yo, you know who this is? I'm like, nah, who is this? He like, nigga, flip the door. So I'm like, flip the door. Like, yo, where I know you from? He like, nigga, it's Flipper. I'm like, Flipper? 
Oh, it's the dinosaur is all sweet, shut It's like, I don't say it. it was funny, so I still love you. What's up, bro? He's like, nah, ain't playing right now. Like, niggas robbed my little cousin for a coat on your side. So I'm like, I wasn't over here anymore. Like, whoa, I wasn't. I'm trying to explain this shit. He's talking spicy. I advise you, huh? He started talking, man. He started making them shits for you guys, nigga. It's like my dick, bro. Like, it was all like, I was mad. I tried to be loud, humble. He was going crazy. It's all like, now I went over there. You feel me? Like, come outside, nigga. Time they could pull up. Like, what's going on? Like, we both end up dead and shit, but we never seen each other. But now he fucking with son, cause Zach, like, Zach deal with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? He, he be around, so they be having him in the head sometime, but they want to make sure this shit I ain't out for anything. So I'm like, all right. Like, this the first day, like, it's like, I could say I was ever with them or any type of time like that. Like, Kyle City, Kyle is the one that was like my manager. That's who really took the music shit. Like, I knew French, but he made it to me. Yo, Kyle bringing me to the studio. Like, nah, you gotta fuck with Rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, Kai City. But, anyway, long story short, I see Flip, it ain't about nothing, y'all. It's just, it ain't about nothing. We go to perfection the same night. After that, we was fucking with each other. It was cool. Everything was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was funny to me because we went through our shit. Now, it was like, we here, but it's like, fuck it. We about to do this music shit. Let's try this shit, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Again, Kyle City is French man. I fuck with Kyle. So I, it, like, it's always the third party with, with me and him. You feel me? Like, and they wasn't nothing. I ain't had no problem with that. It was cool. You all like, I understand. Anyway, we start doing a little shit. This little song just playing in the stool. You know what I'm saying? It was just like funny vibes. Like, it's hard, because my niggas understand about music, but me being in the studio with 20 fall rock niggas or 20 Mac niggas, like, yo, rock, what's going on, bro? Like, <laughs> you understand? Know like, all right, we not getting paid for this shit, bro. We not going to keep popping out. You know what I'm saying? Niggas getting locked up. <laughs> nah, like, all right, we telling. Nice to you know some crazy shit happened, uh, crazy shit, whatever. Shit end up on the news. They had put warrants out for certain people that was on the news, but nobody doing nothing on the news. If I'm, I was in the store, you know what I'm saying? That shit already got cleared, but somebody got killed two blocks down in front of another store. You feel me? But that shit happens. And the first person that called my phone was, was, was Kyle. And he like, yo. Go to the fucking studio, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Five is like, yo, fuck, I'm going to go to the studio. I go to the studio. The time before this, the time before this night, like, last time we were together before this happened, we went to Flex Party. We went to Flex Party, Webster Hall. And long story short, jump through bottles. I French, you know, on stage, whatever. First time Jim seen him, so it was automatic tension. You feel me? That shit almost got super ugly, like for real. You are like, and then flex. Yo, listen, I feel the energy. I feel the energy, but it's my birthday. Take this whole list down. I got y'all. I'm gonna spin y'all shit. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna spin, gonna spin the top of them. That was the song French I had to turn top of them. So it's like, ah, right, you gonna spin the top of them. Ain't like, I'm gonna do something better for y'all, like, you know what I'm saying? Make a song, now I'm putting on Summer Jam. So, mm -hmm. make a song for Summer Jam. So it's like, all right, that. But, but, like, I ain't gonna say French wants to be lying. But French wanna make sure he, he go, he go, like, spin his shit. You all know Flex do it. That shit means something, bro. So, there's no radio in the stool. There's no radio. So it's like, you know, I got to go to the car and see if he playing it. So it's like, all right, back, go. So while he doing that, how he felt on it. He was already working on some shit. How he froze on it, he just started putting the beat together. So he putting the beat together. Friends come back upstairs. 
Everybody's calling now. Yo, check, check, check. Yo, check the news. Rock on the news. Rock on the news. So it's like, hold on, we on the news. For what? You heard? Like, hold on. What you mean? It's no, it's no TV here. You understand? So now we gotta go on the computer, look his shit up. So we trying to find the shit on the computer. We find the shit. Basically, just the picture is going so I right, boom. Oh, shit. My mind. Nobody could leave the studio, bro. <laughs> you understand? Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? Yo, chill. And Fred's like, nah, like, he always find a way, like, he always find a way to get up out of there. Fred gets up out of there, bro. But he say, like, he going to listen to the music, like, see if, like, spend the shit. Yeah. Like, yo, fuck in my mind. I'm just like, yo, this shit going to be the last shit a nigga do for. They trying to sit a nigga down for some shit. Let me, let me do this, bro. It just, it was just talking. You understand? Know we was just talking. I had be some day backstage. I was thinking about the last year, the shit we went to before this shit. So I'm like, alright. It just started coming together. So I'll push this shit together. And then, you know, friends, like, like, as far as when you do music with people, you start to see certain things that they like to do with their music. And like, here King, I give it to him as far as, like, here take a sample and make a song. He good for that. So, he good for the remix. You feel me? Like, I knew that. So it's like, I right, bet niggas is around, certain people around, all in the hood. seen the video yeah like i had seen a video i think you was like burning a, sh a coke boy shirt and nah, he, I, I i was i was hot i was hot it was a um it was a situation like i basically and you gotta go back to the like first day i came home <laughs> first day i came home it's like after honestly I ain't really think they was going to let me go home that fast. You understand? So, me walking out the door is just a surprise. Now I'm like, I'm out, I right, bet. Now, everything is, it's the plan for the day. We're going to go meet Kyler. We got to pick Kyler up. Be over here. We tell him with Kyler. We're going to um, flex. I'm, I said, I said, I said, we going to k Fay Recipes, FaceTime Party, French on the cover. That's what we doing tonight. We about to meet French and Atlanta. So we all get up, go to Atlanta. Now, gangsta, like, we won, like, I was locked up. I got violated for parole for, I like I told you, I wasn't on the scene when that shit happened. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I went to jail for it. While I'm in jail, you hear it. It's everywhere, it's spinning, you hear me? Yeah. It's spinning, we got remixes and everything, and it's like, oh, I say that, like, in your mind, like, yeah, I'm coming home, we sit here, we sit here, you feel me? Like, so let's come home, first niggas I see is my niggas. I ain't expecting that, first, you know what I'm saying? It's my niggas, all right, so I loved everybody, made sure I was sturdy, right then and there. But this not the rapper part yet, you feel me? I don't get to feel the rapper part. <laughs> so, so it's 
So now that night, uh, we get the odds on the rest of we doing, alright. First, we started with some lounge shit, like, went to some lounge. That's where we met friends. Alright, long story short, shit ended up popping. Shit popping the lounge. Alright, first day, a little altercation. Next day, because of that altercation, something happened with one of our niggas in another spot in the club that night. So the next day, like, we go to the club, see them, you feel me? But fat boy there flipped there, so I see flipped though, what the fuck is going on? And it's like, he's sitting there in the car, one person with him. Now it's a thousand niggas around his car, he's like, yo, I'm so uncomfortable, like, shut up, nigga, what you talking about? As men started talking, that shit just went left. I ended up going to the bookers that night. Like, out of everybody, I'm the only one that got locked up. I was fighting with myself. Like, if I get locked up the second day, I'm home. The third day, third day, I come home. See, like, Kyle, that's who, like, my men did. He like, yo, listen, Lord said, go to Miami, get you to Miami. We got you, it's over. You gotta go to my end. Like, yeah. doing too much. Now I'm all right. Go to Miami. Actually, you know, French out there. You know what I'm saying? I went to Miami and it was it was a lot of love. Like, Lord showed me wild love. Like, you feel me? I don't really like talking about sense, but it was wild love. Yeah. Back to you, though, he pop out. Actually, though, he's showing the remix video. Though, he's showing the remix video. Some stupid shit happened. Like, it said fake blue mind, but it happened. Long story short, one of the bitches that was working for his stylist stole my phone. Stole my phone. Everybody else's phones and shit is in here. That shit went left. All right, how you want to play? I start flipping the tables. I flipped the table, so I was like, Rock, what you doing? Now this bitch playing. Now she gonna pick up all these clothes. Find my fucking phone. Why is you playing? French like, yo, fuck the phone here. Silver, car give me a thousand dollars just for the phone. Phone's over with. Like, it's not even about the phone. It's like, they know she did it too. It's just they don't want to deal with it. You understand? Yeah. It was like, yo, Rock, you spent did that like that. How the fuck you gonna tell me you took my shit in my name, nigga? Like, whoa, that shit had me tight. Come, we think I was over that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> But it, it, it was kind of different, like, I never got a dollar, bro. Like, you understand? So I'm coming home and there's no bread breaking. It's just twins. Like, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Like, nah, it was no, it was no press. I'm like, yo, hold on. Like, city, what are we doing, bro? Like, I'm just hold on. We're about to go on tour. We're gonna do the Coke Boy 3, whatever makes hate. Ah, da. We're gonna go on tour. But I'm like, but where's the bag? You come home, you push out of the bag. What's going on? He's like, yo, don't worry about the music right now. You won't get that type, just chill, you know? So it's like, all right. Don't stress over shit you don't need. That was French's exact like, words. It was funny. You know what I'm All right, so we're going to do all these little shows and run around. We doing shit. It's real shit going on at all these events. Shit's going on. Like, yo, bro. I ain't going to keep going to these shit. Niggas ain't getting nothing, bro. Nah, that shit don't last too long. But now we gotta get in school, we gotta work on this mixtape. So now we're working on the mixtape, mixtape, then we go on tour for the mixtape. We was getting like basically a thousand dollars every two weeks mm -hmm. on that shit. Like, so it's like, hold the fuck up. <laughs> you tell me, wait for this. Like, they say don't do no features. He say don't do no features because it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring your value down. So it's like, I, I don't really want to do no features with niggas anyway. But it's like, it's, you, 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 you ground a nigga all day that I'm telling you not to do this and not to do that, not to do this. But you watch him run it up with y'all. Like, we all together, but it's one nigga running it up. And it's like, all right, hold on. When these niggas, 
only say you only got 10 niggas with you, we got to pay the rest of these niggas way, you know? Like, you got to, like, it's wild shit going on. Like, <laughs> it's been the main time banging on pay for all the bottles. Like, like mad thick, like mad little funny shit you see. And it's like, yo, bro, I can't keep doing this. And then we don't got it to keep faking it till we make it either, you know? Like, mm-hmm. so many of us. So, like, yo, don't worry about the street, just focus on you. Nigga, I got a kid, I just had a kid. You wildin', like, long story short, this slowed me down from this shit was, like, one day we did, like, three shows. We did, like, three shows, we came back. I I literally, I literally had $27 on me. I come to get everything from the store that my baby mom's mom just told me to go get. Like, I had to get it from the store on the arm. After that, all that rubbish was out. I was out. You, nah, you, now, you saying, <laughs> you basically saying, like, you came home with $20, you had to steal the, the, the stuff. Or, I steal it. You know, oh. you store, you get them what you got, y'all got you. And there's, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. But even the point, like, you understand, nigga had to do that. Like, yeah. like wow, I'm going upstairs. I'm going upstairs to get money. You know what I'm saying? I just came from doing all of this. I mm. can't even go straight to the stool. Like, you understand? Yeah. What, what was like, the whole nah, this is what I was, this is what I'm trying to figure out. I never knew. So it's like, I don't know what's going on. Now I've been home going on a year now. Now we go on the Paradise Theater Tour. That's Drake Tour. That's a big tour. That's the biggest shit. We was, uh, I was ever on, like, but we on that shit, and it's cool. We vibing with niggas, like, we talk about stories with them niggas for days, but, like, we was vibing, but we wasn't getting no money. So it's like, nah, I can't be away 90 days <laughs> and go back. <laughs> like, nah, I don't know. Like, so I left that shit early. I left the shit early. I left the tour. And this one, I just, like, not dissing myself. I just start focusing on myself. You feel me? Like, yeah. Got you. Tinks was next. They made that clear. He he signed. I never wanted to sign because the contracts are some crazy shit. That was all the way out. Mm. He, he sent some paperwork. He said three sixty indefinite. On the, like basically the first line, nigga. Hold on, nigga. Know how to read? Like you understand? Indefinite means forever. Three sixty means if me and Keith Films come out with an interview, you could you gotta clear that. You understand? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Nigga, you tripping. We just did a song, nigga. <laughs> you understand? Like, yeah. Like, like, not even like that, because that's when I was around, son. I was all in. So, you feel me? But, don't do that. Don't mm-hmm. do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't come get me out of Fall Rock. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. You, like, ah, it's different, bro. Yeah. It's different. You feel me? Got you. Did did y'all ever get to speak to to mend everything or y'all just nah, left it at that? It, it, like when like I said, like when I start dissing myself, when I say that focusing on myself, I just start working, doing the mixtape. I was gonna do a mixtape and then like I played certain music for him. Like he played the music. Off the rip it was one song. He wanted it, like, yeah, I want this. I say, yo, you keep it, you just gotta put chains on it. That's about a chain. So I'm like, you gotta put two chains. At the time, chains was just me. I'm like, we gotta put chains on it. He like, all right, bet. He gonna be on the tour. We gonna highlight him. I'm like, all right, bet. But then I took the city. He said, he like, nah, rock, like, you gotta do a verse on that too. So French not gonna have a verse. Y'all gotta share a verse or something. He was jacking that. He's like, yo, this is album. Why niggas ever playing with a song? Tinks had popped that. That was Tinks' song. So me, Tinks gave that to him off the rip. So it was like, look, Tinks gave me this. That's why I'm taking Tinks here. I'm going Tinks here. Like, I right, bet. Keep Tinks, you all. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. They like, yo, rock, you can't be like that. I'm like, yo, bro, like, I ain't come home to wait, no, nine, no, no. I ain't come home to do none of that, bro. Like, I just thought I was staying in there. I didn't think I was coming home, period, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, I want me to come home, wait on the moment. I've been home a year, I'm not jacking this, it's quiet. Like, oh, birthday come, went crazy. 
like crazy. None of them came. It wasn't a, a cold boy shot in the building. Well, so, but I'm with the plug. I don't like rappers. So when they find out rapper in the spot, we go to the spot to do more bottles than them type shit. So they like, yo, fuck that shit. Nigga, we ain't here. You know, it's like, it hurt. Cause it's like, y'all be doing all this shit for free for these niggas. These niggas be spending more money on bottles than niggas made on tour. Like, hold on, what the fuck is going on? You know, like, <laughs> It's, and we do a song called 9,000 Watts. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm on it. Now, as far as being there, everybody know how that work. Who hear beats and who makes songs and, and everybody knows what's going on. You feel me? So 9,000 Watts come out. Make life. If, you don't, if you're not signed, you can't be in the, on the song and the video. Mm. That's the memo come out. They're like, hold on, brother. You forgot who was there when we did that? You understand? So it's like, you're not ever going to play with me. Like, I could, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's a choice, I could be like, nigga, that's like telling me come here on Sean Cooler. What's wrong with you? Yo, this nigga be bugging. It's on stage. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on, man. Can I talk to that nigga, man? Yeah. I ain't signed. I still was in the video, but it was funny. When I went, I felt it felt funny. Got security now, these Hawaiian fat niggas. It's like, come on, my nigga. I was in Miami with y'all niggas, man. Y'all niggas go, man. You understand? Like, I see y'all niggas on the press. I fuck with man. man. <laughs> they got Versace scarves and shit. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's what I'm saying. Like, yo, I, I it's, it's quiet. I went there with two people. Whoa. It was, good, it was over. Then, now, Sway. I'm um, Sway MTV. He had the drive, that's the ball. He, he on it though. He had it. He wanted to permit this shit on the radio or whatever. Um, not the radio, the MTV in the morning, so you want to permit this shit. So, he posted a goal. He said he wanted to. Speak to the shot caller. He say, yo, they be freestyling. He drop the mic type shit. So be ready for a lot. Hi, say that. It's the next day. That night, I was already going out. My man anniversary. Just a plug. You feel me? He got the ghost. We, long story short, I just went dumb that morning. We broke night. I went dumb that morning. Bought a crazy, stupid fit. I mean, we talk numbers later. Like, I pull up to the spot, I see the ghost, the friend sit, the wife sit. Now, I'm calling, not answering. I don't call him, I call Kyle, I call, like, niggas that I know that's around, like, little run around niggas, ain't not answering. I, I'm saying, plug, I know he tired, we been out all night, hey, hey, where the fuck these niggas at? You just see the lights light up in the back of the ghost. So that means somebody coming to the car, Some like, damn, I probably missed this shit, you all. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to be here early. I, boom, I see the runner, and my son E, like, oh, yo, E, what's up? Yo, Rock, what up? Now he talking to French, but he got French on the phone, like on speaker. Mm-hmm. So I could hear him, you understand? So he, friends tell him to go to Trump to get something. Nah, no weapon, nah, probably his, his, his jewels aside, keeping whatever in the trunk, he's trying to go get it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, E, yo, tell him it's me plus one, you feel me? Like, I'm with my man, you know, like, ain't no, I get up there and say, oh, it's only me, I won't go. <laughs> mm-hmm. So 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 he telling him right there he said he touched me like I tell him call cop. Mm. And she said he said tell him call cop and the plug of that said that nigga just spent off. Oh. Well, he said he said all right fuck that shit like I'm tired of you doing all this shit make it look like niggas doing right. Nah, fuck that shit. I don't gotta wait for that shit. And. I go back to the hood, like, you know what I'm saying? It kind of blew minds. It blew minds. It's just like, I'm not going to tell him turn around. Like, 
to get back to the hood. Regular shit now, I pull up and up. These plants like that. I like five phones. All them shit start going crazy. They going crazy. I ain't the fuck. Long story short, somebody start taking me up. Like, yo, they call me. I answer. They start taking me up. Why you ain't go? Why you ain't go? This nigga violated. Some of me violated. So, see if they got the link. I'm going to try to send you the link. Somebody send me the link. I see the shit. He like, um, so he asked, he's like, yo, what's up with Tari Rock? What happened to the shot call the kid? He said, so I don't know, man, a little nigga can't stay out the hood. Some shit like that, some shit. And I was just like, oh, that did it. Yeah. I did it. Nah, and this, I went in the head, and then I just felt like, hey, why that had that shit on, I had to take it all. Yeah. You understand? And I love a lot of uh, people wrong for that because it's just people from the hood. They probably gave him a free T-shirt. You understand? Yeah. And I got mad. I went in there. I met everybody that I seen. Oh, that was right there. Take that shit off. And I burnt that in front of them. And I was like, I just, nah, they can't come back to the hood. Yeah. You understand? And it's like, when you go there with that energy and you you bringing that to the wrong people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Did you ever get a chance to talk to him about after or nah? Nah, we, we, one time, it was his birthday, we was supposed to, but I was mad at somebody else for ever mm. being around him. You understand? Like, bro, my sandbox nigga, we talk about this shit. Like, niggas basically trying to make niggas shoot. Let me get Yeah. I ain't going to court. I never did none of that. You understand? Like, you, you feel me? Like, y'all niggas, what's wrong with no one, bro? Yeah. And it, it looked funny with the management. As you like, I know that's your me. But am I your me? I done slept on your couch on the run. So, mm -hmm. what I ain't never do. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but we seen, we seen uh, Shakola did really well. Did you ever get a dollar from that? Of course, like after everything said and done. Okay. Bye. They just they they just gave me like a twenty five percent basically like at first they tried to give me two point five percent. Two point five million? Twenty five. Nah hell though. We oh. like talk about percentage like in the royalties and shit. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened, but well one day his lawyer contact my lawyer. I, I was in here just on some shit like that. Like, but like you ask me about him, I don't care. You yeah. know, like I hate when people ask me about him. I know it's hard not to though. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand. Got you. You know, I know. I know we ain't got um all the time in the world, but I did want to say uh I know uh you do you spoke about having a child. You know, what is that like raising your kid behind the walls? So it's scary. Mm -hmm. It's scary. Bro, because you see you, and you want to be there for you, you feel me? Like, and then they start talking, they say shit, and you see you, and it's scary. <laughs> it's scary, man. Hold on. <laughs> Bro, they coming though right now, yo. I, I appreciate you. Yeah. Bro. Listen. Charlie, I uh, appreciate you. Um, uh, blessings, and I hope everything goes in your favor, you heard? We know that. Yo, before... Well, let me know how it goes. Send it a link when it's done. Of course, of course. Before we go, what's one way you want the people to remember Charlie Rock? However they want to. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, that. <laughs> <laughs>